1972, Belfast was one of the most dangerous places on Earth. There were multiple bombings and shootings almost daily. The military reaction force was a small secret unit set up by the army to take the war to the IRA. Now, a panorama investigation shows how some in the unit operated outside the law and shot unarmed civilians. The 40-strong MRF patrolled the heartland of the IRA, West Belfast, in unmarked cars. Three former members of the unit agreed to appear on camera, provided their identities were disguised. What was the mission, as you understood it? To draw out the IRA and to minimise their activities. Minimise their activities? Yes. In what way? Well, if they needed shooting, they'd be shot. We were not there to act like an army unit. We were there to act like a terror group. MRF operational records have been destroyed and the soldiers we've interviewed have avoided incriminating themselves or their comrades. What is clear though is that in 1972 some plainclothes soldiers thought it acceptable to shoot unarmed people. One member explained how they sometimes approached barricades manned by nationalists to deter loyalist incursions. But you're saying to me that on occasions the MRF would make an assumption that someone had a weapon even if you couldn't see one? Occasionally. And they would get shot? Occasionally. Some people would say that's murder. Yeah. In fact, I think it's most people would say that's murder. Possible. I wouldn't say that. The soldiers admit they operated outside the rules of engagement. The army's yellow card prohibited firing unless lives were in immediate danger. There were strict rules as regards the yellow oh, you card. You knew the rules of the yellow card. Oh, yeah, I knew the rules of the yellow card inside out. But, it didn't um, apply to the MRF? No. I just want to be clear about where the red line was, as it were. I think it's a fuzzy red line. The MRF was wound up after about 18 months. The soldiers say their contribution to the fight against the IRA has never been recognised. The Minister of Defence has told the BBC it's referred allegations that some MRF soldiers shot unarmed civilians to the police in Northern Ireland. But yesterday, the Northern Ireland Attorney General proposed there should be no more prosecutions or inquiries into conflict-related killings. This could mean the end of the historical inquiries team, who've been reviewing such cases for the last seven years. But 40 years on, some relatives are still seeking answers. John Ware, BBC News.